Hello everyone, it's Miss Thomas here again, your Maple Lake Elementary Librarian. Today, we have a guest reader. It's Celeste Dahlstrom, and she is reading Aliens Love Underpants. I hope you enjoy. Hello all you storybook listeners. My name is Celeste Dahlstrom, and I'm going to be reading a book to you today. The book I'm reading is called Aliens Love Underpants. Aliens Love Underpants. Aliens love underpants of every shape and size. But there are no underpants in space, so here's a big surprise. When aliens fly down to Earth, they don't come to meet you. They simply want your underpants. I'll bet you never knew. Their spaceships, radar, bleeps and blinks. The moment that it sees a fresh clothesline of underpants all flapping in the breeze. They land in your backyard, though they haven't been invited. Ooh, underpants, they chant, and dance around delighted. They like them red, they like them green or orange like wild pumas. But best of all, they love the sight of Granny's spotted bloomers. Mom's pink frilly panties are a perfect place to hide, and Grandpa's woolly long johns make a super whizzy slide. In daring competitions, held up by just one pin, they dive into the long johns to see how many can squeeze in. They wear undies on their feet and heads and other silly places. They fly undies from their spaceships and hold funny undie races. As they go zinging through the air, it really is pants-tastic. What fun the aliens can have with underpants elastic. It's not your neighbor's naughty dog or his owner's funny game. When underpants go missing, the aliens are to blame. But quick, mom's coming out to fetch the laundry in at last. We off the aliens all zoom. They're used to leaving fast. So when you put your underpants on, freshly washed and nice and clean, just check in case an alien still lurks inside unseen. The end. I hope you enjoyed the book today. Have a great day. See you again.